what's up tech twins right here with twin folk tech and we are back so it's been a minute and um yeah today i want to bring to you the google pixel buds pro so we're going to be taking a look at these bad boys and finding out together if these are actually worth 199 dollars so i've got the pixel buds pro right here i've got them in this uh, lovely coral color and then i also have my uh og pixel buds a series right here um yeah so if we take a look real quick this is not going to be a comparison between the two but just generally speaking if you take a look um at the uh design here let's pull them out of the cases so for the pixel buds pro you're gonna have um this kind of weird looking design it's actually kind of comfortable in the ear despite it being this more oblong shape whereas with the pixel buds a series they're going to kind of be a little bit more jammed up in your ear and they're going to have that little flangey or whatever you want to call it uh, to help uh, with the fitment, help it secure in your ear a little bit better. Uh, but I honestly feel like if you get the proper tips for the Pixel Buds Pro, um, you won't have any problem uh, with uh, with the fit. But I'm just going to snag these back in the case real quick. But yeah, this is not going to be a comparison between the Pixel Buds A and Pixel Buds Pro. Those are, these are two different beasts um, and they are going to help solve two different audio problems um, or, or I guess suit two different needs of two different types of consumers. The, the Pixel Buds A um, series, you know what, like I said, I'm not going to get into the comparison. Anyway, this is about the Pixel Buds Pro. So are these worth $199? Let, let, let's, let's find out. So um, the Pixel Buds Pro, uh, they come in a lot of these sleek colors. Uh, you got coral like mine here. You got fog, which is going to be like a white color. You got charcoal, which is going to be like a dark color, kind of like this. Um, stormy black color here and then you're going to have the uh, lemongrass color which is kind of going to um be maybe a little bit more yellow than the uh, sage color of the pixel 6a um, but i got mine in the coral color because i was really looking forward uh to having just like a really googly color um and it did i did get this to match with my pixel 6 um my standard pixel 6 i had a wrap on here that was uh white and coral but i, I took it off anyway this is just like a really stunning looking earbud the design is Pretty sexy, I would say. And I like the, the, the contrast of the red, the coral red and the black. That looks really cool. Um, the magnets on here are pretty strong. You don't have to worry about uh, these coming out at any point in time. Um, they, of course, have active noise cancellation. Um, that's going to, of course, help cut out on the noise around you, as well as uh, they have a transparency mode that helps you let in ambient noise um, around you when you need to be more aware of your surroundings. So I will put the A and C um, around the same level as the AirPods Pro, but still nowhere near the, the level of your Sony or your Bose. Uh, the transparency mode is is not bad, but, um, you know, it, it doesn't give you um, it doesn't give your environmental noise that digital sound that some transparency modes give you, uh, but it is still not as natural sounding as um, what I've come to know on maybe say the OnePlus Buds Pro or like the Apple AirPods Pro, uh, for instance. So you get up to 11 hours of playback time um, with the Buds themselves and 31 total if you include the, uh, you know, how much more charging time you'll get out of the charging case. And now this is with ANC off. But if you have ANC on, you'll get around seven hours of playback time on the earbuds. Not so sure what that does to the case. Uh, but these earbuds do come with multi-point connectivity, which means you can easily switch between two devices um, that, that you have the buds connected to at any given time. So um, these also, of course, benefit from having the wireless charging case. And they come with uh, three different ear tip options, small, medium, and large, with the uh, medium ones coming uh, pre-installed here on the earbuds themselves. Uh, but yeah, so this has wireless charging and you can just throw these up on um, a wireless charger such as the Google Pixel stand. Uh, like so, I don't have this plugged up, but uh, if you did have these plugged up, you could charge charge them up wirelessly on the uh, Pixel stand. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you don't even get a USB-C charging cable in the box. So I mean, yeah, I have like, let, let's see, I just tossed the USB-C cable around somewhere. Let me see if I can grab it. I mean, so like I have a million of these laying around from um, you know, just buying true wireless earbuds, but the, the point still stands like, I mean, I'm spending $199 and you can't even give me the stupid little dinky USB-C cable in the box. I mean, come on, these are $200, $200. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up and, uh, we're going to get them connected real quick. So I've been watching a lot of, uh, watching a lot of Sandman here. Obviously, as you can see, I got the helm as my background, uh, but that's neither here nor there. So let's get these paired up. All right. So um, when you pair your Pixel Buds up to your 
Google Pixel, um, it's going to have like all of the settings baked into the app. Uh, or it, excuse me, it's going to have all the, set, the settings for the earbuds baked into the Bluetooth settings um, on your phone. Uh, but when you actually have a non-Google Pixel, you have to download a, uh, a Google Pixel Buds application. Uh, you can get that from the Play Store, of course. So um, showing my charging status of my uh, Pixel Buds as well as the case's charging status. So everything is fully charged. Uh, you do have options here in the app to, um, you know, set up your Google Assistant. I honestly do not set up my Google Assistant on here because I'd rather just, you know, swipe up from the side and do the Google Assistant that way. Um, but then you've got your Find My. So you can, uh, similar to how Apple does the, you know, Find My earbuds or whatever, you can ring the earbuds. A lot of a lot of true wireless earbuds have this option nowadays, but you can ring your earbuds and they'll put out like a high pitch noise um, and they have to be near you and have to be connected to your phone still. Um, and, and it'll let you know, kind of help you figure out where exactly the buds are. If you have these um, in your ear and you press, you know, for the, the Find My uh, signal to go out, you're going to, you're going to deafen yourself. You're definitely going to damage your, your hearing. So don't do that. Um, the touch controls on the Pixel Buds are probably some of my favorite that I have ever encountered. Uh, so you have the swipe forward to raise the volume, swipe backward to lower the volume, a single tap is play and pause, double tap is neck track uh, or to reject call, um, and then the triple tap is to go back to the previous uh, track, and then the touch and hold is to cycle through your um, active noise cancellation. So you can actually customize uh, your active noise cancellation settings. Uh, so you could do it where it shuffles through the three modes where you have active noise cancellation, off or transparency mode or you can do it to where it will uh, allow you to set up the Google uh, Assistant again I don't use the Google Assistant but yeah that's pretty neat that you don't have to have it on both earbuds you can do either or so I can have my ANC settings on the right earbud while I have my assistant settings on the left earbud so you can you can divvy it up that way but yeah the the pixel buds have some of the best um, controls on them that, that I found so let's let's go play some music here real quick, real quick. so I'm gonna go to YouTube music and we're just going to play some music and let's see if I can do this here with the actual earbuds still in here okay I'm actually going to put the earbuds in so I've got them in right now um, and let's do this so one tap is play one tap is pause so double tap that takes you uh, forward a track on the right earbud, I guess, and then, oh wait, let me see. Okay, so double tap on either earbud will give you forward, and then let's hit triple tap. And then triple tap goes backwards on either earbud. And then I've got my, I'm cycling through my noise canceling modes right now, but I'll save that for, uh, for later actually. So if I swipe forward on the earbud, that raises my volume. If I swipe backwards, that lowers the volume press and play again for one tap one tap pause swipe forward volume up swipe backwards volume down all right triple tap well oh this is the first song so double tap forward a track double tap forward a track double tap forward a track double tap and then let's go backwards so one two three backwards one two three backwards one two three backwards so pretty neat um, so let me just go ahead and pause this so um, those are some of your controls but let's cycle through some of those in uh, ANC mode so let's see boo, 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 boo. so let's go to sound here so if I press and hold then I could go from off to transparency press and hold again go to noise cancellation press and hold again turn it off so I'm just pressing and holding going through the modes And these are actually like very responsive. So like when I swipe forward and swipe backwards, like these are very, very responsive earbud controls. I got to say so. That is one thing that I think is very cool um, about the Pixel Buds Pro is how responsive the controls are. So let me go ahead and take these back out. All right. Because I'm actually trying to like monitor my audio right now. And it's kind of hard to do that when, uh, when I have different earphones in <laughs> than what I'm monitoring with. Actually, let's see. Let's take these out so that they can actually be on while we're going through this. So, okay. So I went through a couple of the different specs here, but um, I didn't quite finish it. So these also um, will give you 
IPX4 water resistance, uh, meaning that they can withstand, you know, light splashes. Um, and the case is also IPX2 water resistance. Uh, so, you know, basically these can all manage a bit of moisture. So you could definitely get your sweat on with these at the gym if that's your thing. Um, and as far as like the fitment goes, like I said, if you get the, the, the right ear tip in there, you get the right seal, um, then you won't have to worry about um, these falling out. These stay in pretty well. And these are actually like I usually don't go to sleep with true wireless buds, in, but these are actually pretty comfortable for me to sleep in as far as true wireless buds go. Um, so, yeah, I would give, definitely give them a uh, thumbs up on that one. So let's get into some of the other features here. So if I go to some of my Bluetooth options here under the developer settings, we can see that we only get two Bluetooth codec offerings. So we get SBC and AAC. And that means you are not getting the highest quality audio out of these that is possible on modern smartphones. So similar to your AirPods Pro that only have the uh, AAC codec, Google like Google has immediately made this product, in my opinion, that they labeled a Pro. Uh, it made, they made it immediately feel like it's not a Pro and not worth the price tag when I see that you have such low Bluetooth codecs. Um, I mean, you have Bluetooth earbuds that cost a third of the price of these. These, again, coming at $199. You have Bluetooth earbuds that cost a third of that that come with, you know, Aptex Adaptive or uh, what you can see here, all these different Aptex uh, codecs or sometimes Sony's LDAC codec, uh, which is really great. Um, you know, it, it's kind of weird that a supposed Pro Bud only would come with uh, the bare minimum when it comes to Bluetooth codecs. So that's one, one strike there against Google for that one. Um, next up. When you're listening to music on these things, these are like way too bassy for my taste. So if you're into uh, earbuds with that typical consumer grade tuning, meaning a lot of punchy bass, um, then these are the ones for you. <laughs> um, I was more a fan of the A-series uh, earbuds, the tuning on these. Um, you know, not all of the lack of features that they have, but I am a fan of the tuning of these. These are much more uh, neutral with much more forward mids and highs that don't get outshined by the bass. Uh, but the Pixel Buds Pro, on the other hand, uh, these are absolutely for the bass enthusiasts. And um, they feel, you know, like it's not really for me, um, you know, unless I would be at like the gym or, or something, you know, I, I'm not really trying to get super bass heavy. Uh, I mean. Uh, something that's a little bit brighter, um, oops, something that's a little bit brighter, like the Pixel Buds A-Series, um, that's going to be more my my bag. Uh, the soundstage on these also is very narrow, and it feels like, you know, you're in a very much so closed off room rather than like a spacious open room, um, unlike what you would get on a lot of other less expensive true wireless offerings. I mean, um, yeah, also about the sound, the, the instrument separation is pretty poor. Um, everything just gets kind of blended together, uh, and, and the bass just totally takes over, so... I am not a fan of that so far. Um, another gripe that I have with the Pixel Buds Pro is that they lack any real form of EQ. Okay, so they have this here volume EQ, which basically, like, as you turn the volume up and down, it helps um, the, the music sound a little bit better. Because sometimes if you turn, like, earbuds really low, you're listening really low, they can get outshined by the bass. And then also, if you turn up uh, earbuds really high, they can get outshined by the bass as well. Um, but this literally doesn't do anything um, for me uh, in terms of, like, the, the bass and the treble uh, being any better at different volumes. Um, and, and as far as not having an actual EQ and not having any type of customized um, ANC features. Um, I mean, that's that's going to get kind of annoying to me when there's so much better out there that has custom ANC controls where you can like tune the ANC to your hearing preference. And then you have like an actual multi multiple band equalizer. Um, so you can tune these to your preference um, or even like built in EQs, at least like a few different built in EQs to choose from. Google is lacking that here um, on these one hundred and ninety nine dollar earbuds. Um, so, you know, your, your, your sound core products, if you ever heard of sound core, um, they are a pretty good company where, you know, their stuff is pretty feature rich, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Anyway, um, these earbuds to me are so feature poor for the price that I cannot honestly, um, recommend these, uh, until they get like a significant discount or until they get some more features added through like firmware update and also a significant discount. Um, I would say that the current state they are in right now, the Pixel Buds Pro are not even worth I, I, I honestly, if I did not have a YouTube channel, I wouldn't pay for these. And if I was just an average consumer, I would not pay more than $100 for these earbuds in terms of, you know, your price per, or price to spec ratio. Um, the value to consumer is not here at $200. And I don't think that it's worth it uh, when the true wireless market has so much better competition. So, um, for example, uh, when we talk about true wireless competition, let's let's go ahead and pull up some stuff that uh, is actually going to be 
a little bit more, give you a little bit more bang for your buck. So for instance, the Soundcore um, Liberty 3 Pros, and uh, sorry if there's like a little earwax in here, the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros, um, these come in at around $40 less than your Pixel Buds Pro um, at their regular price. Regularly priced, these are $169, and let me turn them this way actually. Um, they're $169 regular price. Uh, the fit is very interesting. You have like these wings here, they help give you a better, uh, better fit. And they have like these very cool um, ear tips if I can manage to flip this over, have these very cool ear tips that kind of like lock in. Um, they have like a twist and lock mechanism. I don't know, it's hard to explain um, unless you actually get them. But anyway, these are very comfortable. I can wear these for long periods of time. Um, and these are $40 less than your Pixel 6 Pro, or excuse me, Pixel Buds Pro. They come in at about 100 and what, $160. Uh, but they oftentimes do go on crazy sales. I'm talking crazy sales. Um, I mean, at the time when I was, you know, gathering my notes and, and everything on this video. So like at the time I'm, I'm recording it today, um, I believe today is what, August 21st. I don't know what today is. Um, the Liberty 3 Pro were on sale on Amazon for $129. So uh, that's $40 off what they normally are. Um, and for that, you get custom EQs. Um, you get custom ANC through Soundcore's Hear ID technology. You get spatial audio, multi-point connectivity, which the Pixel Buds Pro also do have. I did leave that out though. The Pixel Buds Pro also so do you have multi-point connectivity um but the soundcore liberty uh threes uh excuse me soundcore liberty three pros have the multi-point uh connectivity and, and that just basically means that you can use uh, have your earbuds connected to, to two devices at once um they also use sony's ldac codec which gives you even better sound quality than what the pixel uh, pixel buds pro could ever hope to offer so um soundcore uh, to me it has one of the best if not the best apps uh in terms of true wireless offerings uh and just for all of their bluetooth accessories uh these earbuds are so feature rich for the price point that it doesn't make any sense to buy the Pixel Buds Pro unless you're just a Google ecosystem type of person. And I don't feel like that person truly really exists um, as of yet. So, yeah, the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros, definitely worth it over the Pixel Buds Pro. So that's one solid recommendation I would give you there. Um, also, uh, the OnePlus, OnePlus Buds Pro are another good option. Um, they have a lot of really cool features um, on there as well. I don't have my OnePlus phone, so I, I, I'm i not gonna get into the app or anything right now. Uh, but these, you know, give you um, custom uh, ANC, custom EQing. Uh, you also benefit from a higher uh, Bluetooth codec, which is uh, pretty much, I think, like a proprietary Oppo OnePlus codec called LHDC or, yeah, LHDC. Um, so it's low latency, high definition Bluetooth codec. And for that, um, it's very, very comparable to um, the LDAC codec that you would get with the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros. Uh, but this is only going to be exclusive to your OnePlus and Oppo phones. But man, it it, it makes the sound so, sound so much richer. And you're literally getting three times the data being transmitted um, through using LHDC or LDAC than you will through AAC. Um, so that means you're getting that higher sound quality and you're able to hear uh, more of the track and hear it more clearly. Um, so, yeah, the, the one thing with LDAC, though, is it does it does take away from uh, your your uh, battery power. Uh, same thing with LHDC, but still, I would rather sacrifice a little bit of battery, battery power for sound quality um, and know that I'm getting the best that there is to uh, to be had. So um, Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros, OnePlus Buds Pro um, and also. Another great recommendation that costs uh, just as much as the Pixel Buds Pro, uh, but comes with significantly better features is gonna be the Sony Link Buds S, um, these bad boys here. So these are basically to me like little miniature versions of the uh, WF-1000 XM4s. And um, these are solid, these are solid. Uh, significantly better than the Pixel Buds Pro on any day. So they are going to, um, you know, pack that same uh, Sony ANC or, well, not the same level of ANC uh, as the WF, but just almost just as good as the WF-1000 series, but the, the ANC is going to be better on here uh, because Sony has the top tier ANC out of pretty much all of your Bluetooth and, and true wireless offerings. Um, at, at 199 you're going to have other features um, that you won't find on the Pixel Buds Pro, features that put the Pixel Buds Pro to shame. So you'll have custom EQ, 360 reality audio in apps like Tidal, Amazon, uh, Music, and Deezer. You'll have very, very strong Sony ANC with the pass-through audio and a few other features uh, that you won't find on the Pixel Buds Pro. So so I'd say um, if you're planning on spending anywhere from that $129 up to $199 mark um, for true wireless earbuds, then it won't be very hard to find 
uh, significantly better offerings out there uh, than the Pixel Buds Pro. I mean, these often go on sale too. I believe these go on sale for like 150 bucks. I think that's when I bought mine. They were on sale for about 150 bucks. These Sony Link Buds S and the OnePlus Buds Pro. Uh, as the time at the time of filming this video, they are like 109 dollars um, on their on the OnePlus website. So you've got here, um, you know, several different options uh, that are going to outshine the Pixel Buds Pro. Uh, on any given day i know google says that they're going to be um you know they're going to be bringing out the the five band eq for these and then they're also what else are they going to give us they're going to give us a five band eq and they're also supposedly going to give us spatial audio on this but i mean i can't buy tech on promises of what i might get tomorrow i'm, I'm going to be buying tech and just like everybody else you're gonna be buying tech based on what it can do for you today um, you might be buying it for the longevity and the, and the support, but you're not going to be holding out hope that extra features will be getting added um, throughout uh, your, your ownership of these. So I would say Sony Link Buds S, if you want pound for pound in terms of like price point, um, like right at the same price point as these, these are going to be a much better buy. Um, Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros, these are going to be undercutting the Pixel Buds Pro in price and uh, and specs. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ, they're going to be coming in just with, with probably, like I said, the best app that I've ever seen, the most feature-rich app and most feature-rich earbuds that I've ever seen um, for this price and just totally putting the Pixel Buds Pro to shame. And, and then same thing with OnePlus Buds Pro, feature-rich, um, undercutting in price and and delivering a lot more features than you would get with the Pixel Buds Pro. So I, in, in good faith, cannot recommend these until and unless they come down significantly in price and they add some more features because the true wireless market is just way too competitive right now for Google to be half-stepping. Like there's nothing pro about these um, unless some people consider just having ANC being a pro feature, but there's nothing pro about these earbuds at all. You have um, lossy Bluetooth codecs, you have no customization, um, you have no eq no no custom anc um just i just don't know the only thing that really um i think is cool about these in terms of um you know it beating out any of the competition that i listed is the playback time on the pixel buds pro um is going to beat your, your liberty threes it's going to um, beat out your one plus buds and i believe the link buds are going to be right neck and neck with it so the playback time is good but that's again because they're using a weaker bluetooth codec um so yeah, I mean, for me, the design aesthetic on the Pixel Buds Pro is great. I love the co color choices. Um, the sound isn't exactly terrible, um, but it is a little basic for my liking. And there just aren't enough features to really consider this a pro offering. Um, so, you know, you can find Bluetooth earbuds that I've listed here and, and more that I haven't even listed that offer um, the same things or more at a fraction of the price. And for these reasons, I cannot um, I cannot recommend the Pixel Buds Pro. So, um, you know, like I said, we are supposed to be getting some new features soon, but you can't really buy this in hopes of those new features. So the Pixel Buds Pro, not my cup of tea. Google kind of let me down on this because I am a bit of a, a Pixel fan, a Pixel fanatic. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So I will um, leave links in the description for where you can pick up the Pixel Buds Pro if you so choose. But I'm also going to leave links in the chat for where you, not in the chat, links in the uh, description for where you can pick up um, these other earbuds here that I think offer uh, better bang for your buck. And I mean, heck, honestly, Pixel Buds A series, these should be like sixty bucks. You're finding like you have way better options um, at the hundred dollar price point because these are feature poor as well. So Pixel Buds A series, those should be like sixty bucks, and the Pixel Buds Pro, these should be no more than like a hundred twenty dollars. And this is still pushing it at a hundred twenty dollars. Um, I'd say the most I'd be willing to pay for them if I didn't have a YouTube channel would be hundred bucks. Um, so let me know. Um, your thoughts in the in the comments, how you've been uh, experiencing the Pixel Buds Pro, what you think of them, and uh, if maybe I was a little too harsh on them. I don't know. Like I said, I'm usually a Google Pixel fan, uh, but this is just a disappointing offering, especially in such a competitive market as a true wireless market. So, yeah, um, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, be good to each other, be good to your tech, and stay 20. Peace.